YouTube, three books I hold here. One is Silas Marner, which I just got finished reading. The other is Anna Karenina, which I will be continuing to read. And the next one is called Dry Land End. Now, this is the book I will read after I finish Anna Karenina. And I just got finished reading two of the chapters, uh, first two chapters of Silas Marner um, on YouTube. And if you like classic lit like I do, um, then you'll definitely enjoy that. I hope that the reading is great and everything. And I, it's starting to get good, actually, starting to get into to, to the main plot. Um, in Silas Marner within the first two, two chapters is just the exposition, of course. So, now, um, now that I finished Silas Marner, I'm going to read Anna Karenina. I'm at chapter 20, and the chapters are very small, and, and, and right now I'm at the chapter where um, Anna oh, arrives in the Oblonsky house, which is her brother, um, and Arkadyevich Arc is the gentleman's name. And... Oh, uh, so I'll be doing, I'll be um, reading Anna Karenina, and then I will read, uh, Felice Bacano is one of the co-authors co of The Joy of Gay Sex, and come on, look at this guy on the, on the cover, like, he really kind of sold me on this book, but when I looked into it, I definitely saw um, something else, and um, I believe the foreword was talking about, um, or was there a forward in it? I don't think there was an introduction, but um, he said um, there. In the in, actually, in the introduction, he's talking about um, in one afternoon, the Caruso ta uh, brothers taught me several lessons that have been with me all my life. There was a kind of book that can be intensely emotional and intellectually gra gripping. Generally, what we call today science fiction, books could contain philosophies or theories, and like arithmetic, they would then prove or solve their theories. Books weren't solid prejudiced pieces of knowledge, but instead like problems to be discussed and evaluated by various criteria and at times found wanting. Most important as a reader, I possess rights. I possess rights. Not only could I discern and uh, discuss and accept or deny what was in the book, I could potentially write my own book, a better one than I was reading. <laughs> That's interesting. But also, um, some of the, the comments by the writer or by the individuals in Dryland or Dryland's end um, they say this, um, let me see, it says, one of them I really want to highlight is from Jeff Mann, author of Edge, assistant professor of English at Virginia Tech, says this, this book is further proof that Felice Bacano can succeed beautifully in any genre of fiction. Here we have colorful originality that is found in the greatest science fiction and fantasy writers, the wide-ranging imagination that creates not only fine writers, characterization, and gripping plot, but also fabricates entire worlds, worlds rich with warrior women, space travel, mysterious gods, political intrigue and rebellion, biological warfare, and sexualities both subtle and shifting. In other words, like the best speculative fiction, this book provides the lucky reader with both an escape into the extraordinary and a mirror for humanity's deepest issues and concerns. In the exotic settings of this novel's distant planets, we recognize familiar compulsions that collect, collide, and disperse in our own hearts. A centripetal tug of love, loyalty, and courage matched by the centrifugal forces of creative ambition and strife. So it's kind of like a tug of war. But really, I definitely want to read this book after I finish Anna Karenina. So I revealed something about me that uh, many people um, may not know because I just love being able to, um, I just like, really, really do like um, a lot of, of uh, reading and everything. And I finally, I've been reading Silas Marner for a, a, maybe a month or two and then I kind of put it down and I picked it up and then I put it down again and then I said, well, I'm really close to the end, so I might as well read it, read the rest of it. So, Silas Marner, then I will have Anna Karenina, this book here, and then Dry Lands, and, and come on, like, look at the guy, look at the guy on this, like, he's amazingly sexy, you know, so, and the guy on the back isn't bad either, that's probably his partner in the, in the book, 
but um, I really do li like the way that that is and everything too and the cover definitely um, drew me and then when I saw the Picano um, co-op um, he was like co-illustrator co-author of the, the Joy of Gay Sex and the New Joy of Gay Sex I said wait a minute let me take a look at that because I, I really like that book so I'm definitely going to see um, um, more of what uh, this book has to offer after Anna and um, you have yourself a great day see you later YouTube also, let me know what kind of, uh, if you like classic lit or to read, what kind of books do you like to read, even if it's not classic lit. Sometimes I do like detective novels and things like like, like that, too. So I'll definitely um, may, maybe take a look at some of the ones that are a little, um, that are maybe shorter or whatever. I don't know about Pat Patricia Cromwell, but I did like the um, Mary Higgins Clark Till We Meet Again. And that was in a condensed uh, Reader's Digest. So that was pretty cool. So everybody have a great day and I'll see you later.